two's company, but three's a party in this live show that covers Motown, jazz and old school rhythm and blues. All backed by a six-piece band, including a foot-stomping brass section. You would tell me I'm the only one that you love. The dance routines are the final piece of the puzzle. The latest craze to hit the South African music scene is a shoe off shop group. I'm pretty excited to spend the day with them to see what makes these ladies sizzle. Tamara is a queen of electronic dance and Kwaito, while Marishan and Melissa made their names as TV talent show stars. You ladies have such a synergy. Have you known each other for a long time? From the industry, yeah. definitely. I think we've all seen each other's work and all had respect for each other's work out there, but mm -hmm. we've really become very close over the last few months. Yeah, yeah. that's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shoe Up Shop is quite an interesting name. How did it come about? While we were like, you know, working out the set list mm -hmm. and yeah. which songs we want to choose, and everything, like, we were just talking about it like that. We just used the term shoe up, you know, everything needs to yeah. be shoe up, it yeah. needs to be shoe up. -y. And we were like, and I'm like, guys, why don't we just call it shoe up? And then tomorrow, like, yeah, shoe up, shoe up. Shoe up. <laughs> and also because we obviously taking classic shoe up songs, yeah. but we're also doing modern songs and we're reinterpreting them in a shoe up style. I can't sing, but I can dance. So I hope you ladies will teach me some shoe up shop moves. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Hit the road. They began with a reinterpretation of a hit made famous by Ray Charles and the Raylettes. Hit the road, don't you? Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more. What you say? Hit the road, Jack. Moves by Motown groups like Martha and the Vandellas get a sharp 2014 edge with Courtney Paul's choreography. You can't help but feel super sexy doing those dance moves. The way I see it is like a modernized vintage kind of feel that I've gone with the moves because they've got quite a nice mix. I've always considered myself a bit of an old soul, so I love that kind of feel, but we need to bring it up to date a bit. So what we've done is we've put some old and some new and just kind of gelled it together and it seems to be working. More uniformly stylized than in any decade since, the hair and makeup of the time was part of the musical experience. And Shalom Killaby took us through the looks. I don't think I've seen so many colorful wigs in one space. What are you going to do with the ladies today? I am turning them into vintage vixens. Um, we are taking elements from all the style icons, so the beautiful Sophia Loren, liquid liner, Marilyn Monroe, luscious lips, and Audrey Hepburn brows, and basically all those beautiful style icons that are memorable. From the Supremes through to ABBA and even the Wailers, these wigs have it all covered. She's just lacking the Bob Marley scene. It's not only the cast having fun. The more audience members who dress up and play the part, the better. Do you guys think every time you put on your wigs, your shoe up shop alter egos come out? Yep, they kick in. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and it's great to wear the wigs on stage as well. Mm. It just helps us get into character. When you go on stage and you start off with this fabulous look, and by the time you get on stage, the hair has dropped, or maybe the weather has made it frizz. So we don't have to deal with that. Yeah. It all goes under, and it just looks fab throughout the whole and show. And I feel foxy. So wigs are awesome. Well, you yeah, and you look foxy. <laughs> You guys actually sing a lot of covers from the 50s. Mm -hmm. We right. do. We do um, some classic show up covers, like Life Could Be a Dream. What else do you Candy do? Candyman. And then we also um, reinterpret modern songs in a show up style. Mm -hmm. Who are your icons from that era? There's so many fabulous women from that era mm. who just embodied um, femininity and glamour. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. Sophia Loren. Sophia Loren. Sex Bomb. Audrey Hepburn. She's beautiful. a singer, but she's so beautiful. No, I can't. Yes. Yeah. Everything to do with art. I mean, they were all artists, yeah, you know, exactly. in their own right. Playing at this iconic music venue, the hits performed by the Shoe Op Shop evoke a time where politically conscious women led the movement for civil rights. It's Women's Month and it's almost like your group blossomed at the right time. Yeah, you know, we're celebrating femininity, you know, women of power, glamour. Mm, yeah. Our music speaks 
of it as well so that's cool like the way we look the way we dress we come across confidently and I think that would you know lend itself to women's money yeah exactly go power <laughs> go power I like that what encouraging words do you have for women out there it's okay to be you be unique and express yourself Equal exactly yourself the way you want to yes do everything that you've wanted to do and having each other's backs to 